Yo, yo, guys, what's happening? It's Callum and Tate from Off Talk is Five and Prepping. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of some items I've recently purchased. This is kind of a survival miscellaneous box, you know, just little bits and bobs that guys I didn't stuck them all on eBay. So, in this video, you could purchase each of these items individually, that's up to you. But in this video, I'm just going to say if this was worth the money paid for it or if it wasn't, you know, if you find similar, we'll put the link in the description down below. But it doesn't look really similar I've seen on the internet, it's just a lot of random bits and bobs. So, I think the value of it is way beyond 30 quid from, you know, when I saw it in uh, the pictures of it. There was a few items in there that weren't really shown too well in the pictures, so let's pretty much get straight into it. So, we're going to have to cut this box open, and fucking, this dude's really secured it. I don't want to just stab into the box, because I don't want to obviously damage anything inside. It's packed right to the top, of whatever's in here. I've got to be careful to cut in a certain area as well because I did have to. The uh, red tape you'll see on this is my personal information that I've cut, uh, that I put tape over. So obviously, I'm not going to share my personal information with you guys. No, I don't trust you. I just don't know you. Uh, does the box come off in two parts? Okay, you might have actually done it so it just comes off. Might be that kind of box. Okay, more companion, you can do anything with this now. Fucking great bit of kit. Keep that just the corners. See, I don't want to put my hand there, but I need to hold it. There we go, right. Right there. Let's go over the items on the inside. I've only got that corner off, there we go. It's a bloody struggle to open this. Right. So now we'll pretty much just get the items out from top to bottom. So, first thing we've got here, those are some other things in there but we'll just put up there for now. But the first thing we've got here is a Webtex military products. Just says in there, this is a collapsible wash bowl. Something you can put water in, you know, something like that, it's a collapsible bowl. Uh, a lot bigger than it looked on the picture, it looked a lot smaller on there. So, well, I've just got a bit of a just getting over a cold at the moment, guys. But yeah, so we've got collapsible web text bowl. We have got uh, the items that were in there. We've got two paracord bracelets, brand new, not been opened. Uh, yeah, the cordage sometimes ain't good up on these, but if they're half decent ones, it might be good. They do have a whistle, a compass. Uh, the compass never seems to be accurate. They are both going the same way, so it could be accurate. So a bit. You've got a little fire steel on them. The more of a gimmicky survival item. If you get this, you know, use it for the cordage and you know, the whistle. Maybe the rest is pretty useless on it. Uh, here we have. Is this right in the rain? All weather, all good, all the time. So we have a limitless equipment. Uh, uh, limitless equipment. Limitless equipment. England isn't my favourite language. I don't want to speak though. Limitless equipment. Right in the rain. Notepad. There, we also should have the Limitless Equipment Survival Kit in here, I did a review on that a few months ago, but there is one in here, at least a tin of it, and that, that's not been used. Here we've got a load of bandages, uh, size is 12cm by 12cm, dressing, oh you've got some different size ones here, uh, you've got 18 by 18cm, you've got a load of water purification tablets, Still in date, these expiring in 2027. So I'll be pretty much taking this part and adding to all my water purification kits. Uh, pretty much, probably when I cover this, we've got some triangle bandages with paper clips in them. We've got three of them. See there, we'll kind of we'll kind of try and store everything a bit evenly <coughs> as best we can. Uh, so we've got one big item there. We'll try and get that out last. Here we have. Open this up. Here we have survival of the finest of the fitter, sorry. Gentleman's hardware. Survival tin. So we've got an ear, we'll just give a quick overview of it. 
Now you've got a little multi tool. You've got a fire still, you've got some really heavy duty paper clips, a little wire saw, some cordage. Well, it actually gives you a list of arms here. So, yeah, pull side, everything is there. Uh, I'll probably do a separate little review on this. So, I'm just going to give you an overall thing, but we'll go over all the items. A little five minute video in the future at some point. We'll pack that properly in a bit. So, you've got that one there. Here, I'm assuming this is a limitless equipment one. So I purchased this, I think this goes about 12 quid. Uh, I think my one was different. I think my one had it uh, on the front. Mine might have been the Mark II. It says five. I think mine might have been the Mark. I can't remember the top of my head. I have to recall that. If mine is a different Mark, then no, I might also do a new one. Might if that's an older or a newer version. I, mean, I think mine was a Mark II though. Here we have a couple more bandages, dressings, whatever you want to refer to them as. Here we have. Two reflective bandage, uh, sorry, reflective sheets. Oh no, we have three, sorry. A waterproof plasters. Like them to one of my medical kits. And I think that is everything. And then we have just got this here. Which we will get out of the bag. Uh, the box, I could probably reuse that. I probably will put actually most of this back in off screen. And then get it out when I need so. Obviously, I'll probably keep the water station tablets out and some other things I might use. So, can I just get this part without the knife? I can. Oh, this is the bag. I forgot there was a bag in here. Right, oh, there's something stuffed in there. Oh, there we have a magnifying glass. So, you could use that. Do you know, you can use five size. I've never used that method. Uh, but, obviously, you can use this for wounds, for looking for things, stuff like that. It's a magnifying glass. Oh, here. Is that all the else is in here before I get this out? God, this is an awkward bitch. It's all just like taped up there. There you go. So we have a uh, Garber. Gerber? Garber? Is that a G? I don't think that's Gerber. Garden. Garden gear, sorry. It was, I was reading it fucking incorrectly. So we have a, do you know, collapsible saw. Probably more of a pruning saw. I don't know the quality of this. It doesn't seem cheap or flimsy. I didn't think it was a Gerber there for a second, but it actually says Garden Gear. But, yeah, a cockpit saw nonetheless. To the side, uh, we'll just, I'm not probably not going to find any use for this, so we'll just leave it in there like that. And then let's get this back out. See how big it is. So it must have been the angle where he, he took these photos from. Oh, I'll just rip this. Oh, I've not, Matt, not ripped I have ripped this sit, sit flat bag there. So I don't like this. I like sit flat bags. I don't know, I might actually be alright. But anyway, we'll get this out. Turn out to the side. And here we have. Backpack, I, honest to God, in the picture it looked about that big. I guess, he, and, and that looked a lot smaller. I guess he must have just took it from really high up or something. But I don't know the price of this bag. I don't know the make of it. See any tags on the inside? Nothing that I can see. Anything on the uh, on here? No, nothing. It's got molly webbing. It's got components on the outside. I think it can be carried both like a duffel bag and like a traditional backpack. Um, it's fairly big as well. It's not a small bag. It's probably like 60 litres, I'd say, 40, 60 litres. Um, 
kind of awkward fucking trying to review it. Uh, it's fairly wide. But nothing, nothing of the make on it. It could just be a knockoff brand. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. It doesn't feel highest quality. 100% definitely not. But I'm sure I'll find it. So now, sure guys, we are going to do a quick valuation and say the quality of the items, overall quality of the kit. Uh, so here we have at least £10 worth of medical qu equipment, you know, the bandages, the plasters, all the other bits and bobs, I'd give that at least £10 valuation, that's a tenner. Uh, then we have the pure water purification tablets, I would probably value them at £10 again, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, I've not looked at the exact price, but I know that you can buy out of date ones for like a quid online, you know, or just in date. These don't go out of date till 2027, so I'm going to say I'd probably pay at least 10 to 12, maybe even 20 pounds that, but we'll round it down to a tenner. So I'm not going to look online, but 10 pounds worth of water purification tablets there. Uh, the Saw, <coughs> it's not a major brand. I thought it was Gerber, but it's just Garden Gear. Probably a fiver, so that's 25 pounds worth of bits and bobs there. The two survival kits, I value each above a 10 pounds, but to make it simple, we'll give them each tenner, so that's 20 pounds there. So that's 10 20 40 pounds there so we are already over the valuation of what I paid for this each of them survival kits and i know for a fact that the limitless equipment one is worth more than tenner and that one i would say is probably a similar valuation and um, we have the right and the rain notepad <coughs> for the size of it i'd probably say that's worth a fiver itself then we've got these we're just pretty much going to call this grade on top i'm not going to try and evaluate that item the uh <coughs> collapsible bowl thing possible bucket really more so probably about a fiber itself it's webtex which is a decent brand from what well, i can remember i've got a few webtex items they all seem high quality so I'll give, we'll say about five pounds at least the magnifying glass again we'll just call that gravy on top so we'll round that up there probably about five's worth of items so that's 10 we had i think 40 there with 45 we had here add another 10 there so that's 55 I'd say, do you know, we'll run it. We'll call that about forty-five. Uh, there, we'll call that forty-five. I'm under. I'm lowballing it there, just giving it underestimating it. This the backpack. I don't know the value of it. I don't know the quality. I don't. There's, it's no make on it. But still, it looks to be about sixty liters. It's you know a drop-in bag. It's got compartments on the outside. I'd probably value this at at least twenty pounds. It does seem decent quality. Nothing to write home about, but it's definitely not cheap and flimsy. So I would say in items here, I've got at least 55 to 60, and that's lowballing it again. I'd say I could probably sell all this on if I chose to for about 60 quid, selling them individually. You know, each of them at a £10, maybe 8 because they're second hand. So I'll give it £60 worth of value. I paid 30 so I've doubled my value on my purchase pretty much. Now quality, not one single item here, with the exception of these power club bracelets, because I just personally don't trust them from personal experience is high quality you know the bandages all the medical stuff decent quality nothing to write on my guard again but it will all work it'll do its intended function the writing the rain notepad will be adding that into one of my kits i'll be adding that into one of my kits that i probably might replace uh one of my uh you know swords in one of my other kits but i find a use for everything that's basically what i mean so yeah i definitely am going to give this five stars for quality and value not one thing that i, that I will not recommend buying on its own except for me with the bracelets but like i said personal experience so that's pretty much more or less for this video, guys. Hope you leave a like, all that good stuff. Uh, really good items. More or less it. Peace.